Well, no, we already covered that, even with Arm and all that other shit. Oh, okay, there's a few things we didn't cover with Armland we probably should. But they're brief. They won't take us very long. Should I hang up? And then, well, they You can try I'm that. Problem. No, we're getting problems. That's exactly what's happening. Well, when somebody asked a reasonable question, they're like, but Skype's peer-to-peer, -peer. how are you being throttled? And they're like, I have no idea. We just know they're doing it to us. <laughs> Somebody's throttling us. I'm throttling us. I don't know. Is Skype truly peer-to-peer? I thought you had to go through their servers. You do go through your servers. It's a hybrid system is what it is. So that's what I think it is. I think their servers are throttling, but it, it is a hybrid system. It is in part oh, peer-to-peer. It's a hybrid peer-to-peer. -peer. Right. client server system. Right. Like, hell no. It's not true peer-to-peer. -peer. I never thought that Skype was ever true peer-to-peer. It's not true. You know, it's never been true peer-to-peer, -peer, but it load balances over all the systems that yeah, are on Yeah, the that's not your bullshit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. A anyways, getting into the two ARM things. Uh, we talked about all the Windows 8 stuff and the UI stuff, but there are some technical things in the ARM stuff. Uh, we all know they're going to be making an ARM version. The two things that are of interest in the ARM version is, one, there's going to be no x86 emulation, which means it's going to be up to the developers to create two versions of their software. Correct, yeah, and they can use universal binary. Right. Well, and like you said, it's simply going. Yeah, and my guess is uh, Visual Studio or whatever they're using to sell will have an option. Just compile me two versions. You know, take twice as long, but who, but but they won't have to sit there and go compile, compile. They'll probably be a execute to both, and it will sit there. It'll crunch the numbers, and that's not going to be a big big deal for done other than the extra runtime on their computers. The thing that is of interest with this is that one. On the ARM version of Windows, you are not going to be able to install anything except what's available in the Windows App Store. Yeah, it's totally controlled package. Yeah, yeah. It, it basically, it's it's iOS. It's an iOS version of Windows. Everything must go through Microsoft for Windows. That's because ARM. that's because they're control. Uh, I have a lot of. I know why. And they, they they're on a new platform, and there's they're not. They they want to completely break this mentality of saying. Oh, you're going to be able to run all your crap on Windows on ARM. It's not going to happen because the, all that shit would have to get recompiled anyway, and they're not going to—they don't want to deal with the driver problems and all, oh no. Oh, that—that's that, that, the other point of interest. You will not be able to get drivers directly from the manufacturer on ARM. No, they will I told have. You that. They want to get rid of it. I mean, look, you can't—you cannot bring an enormous no oil tanker. Or not, oh, I'm not even thinking, uh, cargo ship from hell that you see on Discovery Channel, which represents Windows, and expect all of that to work on something. You know, it's like you take it from the ocean and now you're going to put it on land. Hell okay, well, no. It's, it's not going to happen. But that is going to be a transition. Basically, this is two versions of Windows there's the ARM version, and then there's the full x86 <laughs> experience. The other thing I find most interesting about ARM is it literally is an Apple-ish experience in that it is impossible for the end consumer to buy the ARM OS. You ARM OS? Yeah, the, the ARM version of Windows. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you, if you, basically, it's only going to be available if an OEM makes an ARM-based device and says, Hi, Microsoft. Instead of using Android, or WebOS, or any of the other yeah. things available to us. Can you go ahead and give us Windows? And we want to put Windows on this thing. And uh, <laughs> well, I, that's going to change in the future. Mark my words, it will. Well, it's no. Right now, at, at, at a minimum, there will be a bunch of these devices out here because of all the Android blackmail. One of the yeah. things Microsoft blackmailed out of people is uh, as part of that. Uh, patent abuse over Androids. They said, you're going to make Windows systems whether you like it or not. And I'm sure those contracts will transition into Windows 8 devices, rather they like it or not. <laughs> so, yeah. That, that's not going to... 
they, they'll be out there. It's just, yeah. but but I don't know. You know, they were they were toting like ARM's going to be this big thing, and we're expecting ARM chips to be available to the consumer in the next two years. You know, Nvidia says they're working on some. There's a couple of other manufacturers that are shooting for late 2013, early 2014 to have ARM system on chip chips available for the end consumer. But Windows is saying, well, you're not going to be able to buy Windows for that. You're going to have to buy, you're going to have to use Linux. I'm like, is that really the decision Microsoft wants to make there? Because <laughs> I don't think they're going to be able to stop NVIDIA and these other companies from selling those chips to consumers. I mean, the boards and chips are coming whether they like it or not. That's... <laughs> I think it's too much of a, a, a massive undertaking to have user expectations right now out of the gate. To, it's not. It, it's gonna, so this you is gonna think be a, they'll change that position in a year to 14 months after launch? Not in a year, 14 months. It'll be a while. <laughs> it'll, it'll be a while. I, I, maybe four years or something like that. Because it it's, it's, I mean, you have to think about the business cycle of it. I mean, Windows is a the business ideology. You know, that's. That's the side that's going to be concerned with it. Yeah, with the exception of... Consumers, consumers usually don't have much to lose. Oh, I mean, you know how many people I walk, I walk up to and they say, oh yeah, I just format my shit and, you know, uh, and, and, and I just uh, reinstall. I'm like, if I did that, I, I, would, I would just have to take painkillers. You know, I mean, <laughs> you know, there's no way in hell that formatting is even considered. You know, I, 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 this is not... It's, it's, it's like people do so little, I guess... Computing that, oh, this was erased. Like, you know, this is one of the reasons I love Linux so much because if you set up your thing where your home partition is separate, uh, pretty much every Linux distro, in the event of a catastrophic system failure, and I'm not going to sit here and claim a Linux system never gets screwed up. I, I've had it happen once or twice. But all I do is stick my disk in there and reinstall the OS over the OS partition, and I still have every goddamn file I ever had. You know, at, at, uh, and the reality is, you can't. Uh, you can, in, in OS 10, you can corrupt an entire user shell and then just get a new one and move over. So. Yeah, well, that's an advantage of again of a Unix Linux system. You know, it, it's it's more difficult to do that for the Windows architecture. They've they've had a repair install thing, but the reality is, because of the way the registry works, it just creates issues. Mm -hmm. it, it's a weakness of the technology. Yeah. Okay, uh, we, we are going to have the Windows 8 consumer preview end of this month. It's coming February 29th. Uh, it, it's supposedly going to run on more device. At more and more, it is looking like we are going to launch this year, and my guess is I tend to agree with you. We'll probably have an RC end of spring or very beginning of summer, because I think they're going to be shooting for a fourth quarter launch or end of third quarter, which means they're going to want it out before summer gets too far underway. So, any last minute signs. But still, but, uh, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to having to plug it into systems. I'm definitely not looking forward to having to train people on where everything moved. <sighs> If I start crying towards the end of this year, y'all know why. That's <laughs> just that's like <laughs> I'm gonna come in here one of the shows. I'm just gonna be drunk off my guard. Windows, man. Windows. <laughs> 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 